DeepSeek just did it again. They just dropped a new paper and model DeepSeek OCR. OCR is basically image recognition, but why is that a big deal? Image recognition has been around forever, right? Well, they discovered something completely novel that has the potential to make language models, text-based models, so much more powerful. Let me show you. This is the new paper from DeepSeek. Now, like I said, image recognition has been around for a long time. It's nothing special. We've seen it. It's been done a million times. But here is what makes DeepSeek OCR very special. There's this saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. And that is the key to DeepSeek OCR. DeepSeek has figured out a way to represent text in an image. And this has allowed them to compress text by 10 times while still maintaining 97% accuracy. If this doesn't make sense yet, don't worry, I'm gonna break it all down for you. So right now, a big bottleneck in large language models, the text models you're used to, Gemini, ChatGPT, the big bottleneck is the context window. That is how many words or how many tokens you can actually fit in your prompt. And it's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's the gist of it. And the context window is where you give the model all of the information it needs to produce the best possible output. And the bottleneck occurs because as you scale up the context window, the compute cost associated with scaling up the context window increases quadratically. And that means that it increases very quickly. And so adding one more token to the context window really means significantly more compute, especially as you get further and further in increasing that context window. But what if it didn't have to be that way? And what if we were able to get 10 times as much context into the context window without actually changing anything? That would be huge, right? Well, that is what DeepSeek is proposing with this paper. What they figured out is that with an image, you can represent 10 times as much text as it takes to represent the image on a per token basis. Listen to this, a single image containing document text can represent rich information using substantially fewer tokens than the equivalent digital text, suggesting that optical compression through vision tokens could achieve much higher compression ratios. And so they present DeepSeek OCR, a VLM vision language model designed as a preliminary proof of concept for efficient vision text compression. Okay, so here's how it works. On the left, we see the input, and this is actually an image of text. And in this example, it looks like a PDF, but you could basically take an image of text. And yes, you can actually stuff a bunch of text into the image and you can actually make the text in the image very small. Now there is an upper limit on how small that text can be before you start to get noise and the visual resolution essentially becomes impossible to read. Then that image is taken and split into 16 by 16 patches, little squares from the actual image. Then it uses a few different techniques in the main engine. First is SAM. It is an 80 million parameter model that looks for local details like the shapes of letters and different details in the image. Then it downsamples or basically just continues to compress it and it takes all of those images and smushes it down into something much smaller. Then we have CLIP, which is a 300 million parameter model that basically stores all the information about how to put these different images together and what page it is and yeah, basically just kind of putting it all together for us. Then in the output, we have DeepSeek 3B. That is a 3 billion parameter mixture of experts, 570 million active parameters in this mixture of experts model and it decodes it. It takes the image and it converts it back into text. And with that, we have a very efficient way to compress text down to an image, and then we have 10 times the amount of text, actual text, we can fit in the same token budget. Imagine we have a Gemini model, which has a million or two million tokens, which by the way, is kind of the largest we've seen out there and really insane to think about. Then all of a sudden, 
we can give it 10x. So all of a sudden it has 10 million or 20 million tokens that it's able to work with, with just a slight increase in latency because of the conversion from text to image and image to text. So according to the paper, our method achieves 96% plus OCR decoding precision at 9 to 10x text compression, 90% at 10 to 12x compression, and 60% at 20x. So yes, as the compression increases, the accuracy definitely decreases. And a lot of people have been reacting to this paper. But before I show you that, you can actually run this model locally on the sponsor of today's video. And a quick thanks to Dell Technologies for sponsoring this portion of the video. Dell Technologies has a family of incredible laptops called the Dell Pro Max featuring NVIDIA RTX Pro Blackwell chips, which are portable AI workhorses. It comes in 14 and 16 inch screen sizes and up to 32 gigabytes of GPU memory. Perfect for on the go AI workloads. Check them out, link in the description below. Let me show you a few of those reactions now. So first, Andre Karpas. Of course, I quite like the new DeepSeek OCR paper. It's a good OCR model. So again, it's just kind of a good model to begin with. It's good at recognizing what an image is about. And the more interesting part to me is whether pixels are better inputs to LLMs than text, whether text tokens are wasteful and just terrible at the input. So imagine if we started switching all input, even for text-based models, to being images. He continues, maybe it makes more sense that all inputs to LLMs should only ever be images. Even if you happen to have pure text input, maybe you'd prefer to render it and then feed that in. And here's what you get for doing that. More information compression, shorter context windows, more efficiency, significantly more general information stream, not just text, but bold text, colored text, arbitrary images. Input can now be processed with bi-directional attention easily as default, not autoregressive attention, a lot more powerful. Delete the tokenizer at the input. I already ranted about how much I dislike the tokenizer. The tokenizer is the thing that takes words and converts it into tokens. And remember, a token is just really three fourths of a word. It's a little bit more sophisticated than that, but you can think of it just as that. And of course, he finishes with, now I also have to fight the urge to side quest an image input only version of NanoChat. NanoChat is his small language model that he created just a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, I think it would be really cool to essentially 10x the context window simply by having an image version of it. And I think Brian Rommel really highlighted why this is so impressive. Listen to what he says you can do with it. An entire encyclopedia compressed into a single high resolution image. So the efficiency gains are incredible. All right, so how did they actually train this model? Well, in very deep seek style, they revealed everything in the research paper. We collect 30 million pages of diverse PDF data covering about 100 languages from the internet, with Chinese and English accounting for approximately 25 million and other languages accounting for 5 million. So here's an example. Here's a ground truth image, and then on the right, they provide the fine annotations with layouts. So this really seems like a critical breakthrough in compressing the amount of information that can fit into a context window. This really opens up a whole new set of use cases. And I am so excited to see this technology proliferate through models that we know and love today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.